Hi kids! Today we will learn about more types of nouns. So let's start! We learned that nouns are the naming words and nouns can be of many types. Common nouns, proper nouns, collective nouns, material nouns, and abstract nouns. We have already learned about common and proper nouns in the previous section. Now we will learn about the other three types of nouns in this section. Let's start with collective nouns. Collective noun is a naming word that represents a group of animals, things, or persons. Let's learn with some examples. Uncle John has a herd of cows. In this sentence, the word herd refers to a group of cows. So herd represents not a single thing, but a group of things. So it's a collective noun. The dog gave birth to a litter of puppies. Here, the word litter refers to a group of puppies, that is, more than one puppy. So the word litter is a collective noun. So such words as herd or litter, which represent a group or collection of the same kind of persons, animals or things, are called collective nouns. Let us look at some more examples of collective nouns. Look, there is a flock of sheep means there is a group of sheep. A huge crowd has gathered in the stadium. Here, crowd means many people, so it's a collective noun. Please give me a set of tools. Here, set means more than one tool. So it's a collective noun. There is a fleet of ships in the sea. Fleet means many ships or a group of ships. So fleet and collective noun. So the words like flock, crowd, set, and fleet are all collective nouns as they represent a collection of things, animals, or persons. Now let's see some more collective nouns. An army of soldiers. When there are many soldiers, we call them an army. A team of players. A bundle of sticks. A heap of stones. So the words army represents many soldiers, team. Many players, bundle. Many sticks, heap many stones. All these represent a collection of something, so they are called collective nouns. A bunch of grapes, a bunch of keys, a class of pupils. So these are some more examples of collective nouns. So we have learned many collective nouns. Now let us learn what are material nouns. A material noun is a naming word or noun for a material rather than a thing. For example, this is a t-shirt, but what is it made up of? It is made up of cotton. So cotton is a material noun as it represents a material and not a particular thing. This is a chair. So. Which material is it made up of? It is made up of wood. So, wood is a material noun, as it represents a material that can be used for making many types of things. This is another chair. Which material is it made up of? It is made up of steel. Here, steel is a material as it can be used to make many types of things. Material nouns are uncountable. That is, we cannot count them 
as they represent materials and not things. Now let's see some examples of material nouns. Cloth, wood, iron, steel, copper, gold, silver, diamond, lead, paper, cement, paint, plywood. All these are material nouns. Cotton dresses are very comfortable to be worn in summer season. We have to find out the material noun in this sentence. The word cotton refers to the material dresses are made up of, so it is a material noun. My dad always wears a gold chain. So which word is a material noun in this sentence? It is gold, as it represents the type of material used to make the chain. So it's a material noun. Our teeth are made up of calcium. So which word is a material noun here? Calcium, as calcium is the material our teeth are made up of. These bowls are made up of plastic. So here the material noun is plastic, as these bowls are made up of plastic. Cooking utensils are mostly made up of iron or steel. So the material nouns here are iron and steel. I like satin dresses. Here the material noun is satin. So kids, we have learnt about collective nouns and material nouns. We will learn about abstract nouns in the next section. Now you can go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!